Today we're going to build and fly the Estes Seagull. It's powered by an electric motor instead of a rubber band. Okay, we have all the pieces laid out now. Let's see if we can put it together. Seeing as how this was made in China, the directions are not very good, so we're flying by the seat of our pants here. Okay, we're putting this together, but we're having to figure out what we're doing here. Occasionally you may see me go back and forth to directions, but they don't help much. Okay, you can see the fuselage slides into the back of the motor right about here. There it is. Let's turn it over and see what we're doing. Now the wings are going to go on here. Since we've done this before on another plane, we know there's double-sided tape. So we'll peel off the first one. Double-sided tape is not easy to work with. There we go. We're getting it pulled out now. And we'll stick it down right here. Do it again for the other wing. Not easy when you don't have very long fingernails. There we go. Stick it down on this side. Right about there. Oops. This just slides in there so nothing holds it. Let's peel off the top side. We'll stick the wings down. Here again, longer fingernails would help. There's one side. Fit right on here, right there. Press it down. And then let's do the other side. You know what? I don't have fingernails, so I'm going to use my pocket knife. Look at there. Should have done this the first place. Stick the wing on. Press it down. There's the wings. Okay, the elevator is going to go on the back right here. 
as soon as we get it situated correctly here we go right there we'll use double sided tape on it also Separate this tape. Here's the pocket knife. There we go. It'll stick to the underside of the fuselage. Right here. Press it down. Pull up this side of the tape off. So there you go. And we'll stick the elevator right here. Press it down. There's your elevator. Now the rudder is going to go on the side right here. It'll also use double sided tape. Peel the side off. There we go. Stick it on the side of the fuselage. And about there. Press it down. Peel off the other side of the double sided tape now. There we go. And stick the rudder on right there. Press it down. Now we've got all the wings on now. Now we'll put the landing gear on. Wheels go here. Oops. They don't stay on real good. There's one side. There's the other side. Now if you're looking at the directions for the wheels, landing gear, there's nothing. So we're trying to figure out how to attach it to the bottom of the fuselage. I'm looking maybe double sided tape. Tape it down. It's just a guess at this point. Let's put the propeller on. Right there. Some double sided tape. I'll try to stick the landing gear on the bottom here. Just not sure how. She would like to have seen some directions on this. Let's stick it right there. Peel off the other side of the double sided tape. Stick the landing gear on it. I don't know about this. Wheel here. wheel here okay 
just don't know how that's going to stay on there. And here's your charger. It takes two AA batteries. Whoops. One and two. It's ready to charge the motor now. There's your on off switch. Make sure the switch is off. Plug in your charger. And it says charge it for no longer than one minute. So just count to 60. 1,001, 1,002, you know. And you unplug your battery charger. Turn your switch on. And there it goes. Let's put the decals on the plane now. They just peel off and stick right on. Here's the name Seagull. It's right there. Stick it down. One on the other wing, same way. These pieces go on the wing. You can turn them around, put them on either side, it's up to you. It's your plane. There's one side. There's your other side. Also have some for the elevator. Right there. I'm not going to put them on the rudder. And there's your plane put together and ready to fly. Here we're going to fly one indoor see what it does. Not a bad little flight. There's another one. That looked pretty good. And there's another one. Whoop, crashed in the couch. Let's try it outdoors now. Once again, your charger, make sure your switch is off. Plug it in. Count to 60. There we go. Count to 60. It's ready to fly. You can see I don't have the landing gear on here. Still haven't figured out how to put that on.
Here's our first flight outdoors. We're out in the pasture now. Didn't want to fly much, did it? Let's try it again. Whoa, not bad, not a little circle. Landed. Once again. That just went straight. Been adjusting the elevator up and down, but it doesn't seem to make much difference. Let's give it another flight. Well, that went straight up, didn't it? 